All right, guys, today we have the binomial theorem. Um, my advice on this one is to stop it as much as you need to and, you know, write down as much as you need to. And it's all about patterns. So I'm going to give you some patterns. Please get them down. And really a couple of ways to do things, too. So hang on and, you know, we'll get there. All right. The first thing you're going to see is something called Pascal's triangle. That's what you're looking at right here. Let me be in the right mode here. So this is called Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle. And what we're doing today with the binomial theorem is we're going to expand um, binomials. That's what's called binomial theorem. Um, you know, anything to the zero power is one. So the first row in the triangle is one. If you raise anything to the first power like this one, you know you get, you get the same thing. Now, what these numbers represent over here in the triangle are the coefficients of the answer. So if you do a plus b to the first power, you would get a plus b because it's the first power. And don't forget how we did this. We had a shortcut for this earlier where we'd say you square, multiply, double, square. And look at the co look at the numbers in the third line here. Uh, you square, you multiply together, double, then you square. So what's happening here? is the coefficients I'm getting on my on my terms of my answer are following this pattern. If you cube something, look at this row. You would get a cubed to a, sorry, not two, sorry about that. Um, following the numbers three, a squared b plus three, a b squared plus b cubed. Now what I'm not talking about is where these variables are coming from. I'm gonna get there in just a second. I wanna show you one more line first. If I do the fourth, the fourth power, these are going to be my coefficients. I would get a to the fourth, 4a cubed b, 6a squared b squared, um, 4ab cubed plus 1b to the fourth. Um, and I could keep on going and going like that. These numbers represent the coefficients, all right, of the of the terms in your answer or result. Now. Patterns. I'm going to give you five or six patterns right here that you need to write down, or you need to just, you, you got to get to where you just know them so you can just kind of fly through these things. And here they are. Whatever the main, I'm going to call these exponents over here on the parentheses, I'm going to call those the main exponent. Whatever the main exponent is, you get one more term than that in your answer. Like if you look at the zero power, look right here, two terms. The first power, three terms. The fourth power, sorry, the second power, Third power, four terms. I get it right in a minute. The fourth power, five terms in your answer. So that's the first thing. Whatever your main exponent is, you get one more term than that in your answer. Second thing, the exponents on the first variable, like the a, if you look at them as you go through, the a starts, the a gets smaller as it goes. A squared, like if I'm looking at, I'm in my pointer. If I'm looking at this line, it goes a squared, a one, no a. A cubed, a squared, a one, no a. A four, a three. So the a's are going down. And look what's happened with the b's. No b, one b, two b's. No b, one b, two b's, three b's. The b's are going up. So we have three patterns so far one more term than the main exponent in your answer. Um, your uh, exponents on your first term are decreasing by one as you go. The exponents in your second term are increasing as you go. One more pattern. If you look at the second term, the coefficient on the second term is always the same as whatever the main exponent is. No, it's just the same. And another pattern, the uh, if you look at the coefficients, they're symmetric. One, two, one. One, three, three, one. One, four, six, four, one. One, five, ten. Ten, five, one. They're symmetric. Um, one more pattern I want you to see for sure. And this is a, this is going to sound weird, but one more pattern I want you to see is well, two more. If you look at the exponents on each term, like that's a two, that's one and one, that's two. The exponents on each term add up to be the main exponent. Look at this one. This is the cube. Three. Two and one is three. One and two is three. Three. Down here, four. Three and one. Two and two. One and three. Four. They add up to be the main exponent every time. Um, and one more, the one I was saying was so weird is this one. If you look at the exponent on the second term, 
This is going to come in handy in a few minutes. The, the exponent on the second term is one less than the term you're looking at. Like that's b squared, but it's the third term. Here's b cubed, it's the fourth term. Here's b to the first power, it's the second term. One more. That's b squared, but it's the third term. So the exponent on the second term, second variable is always one less than the term. One more thing about this slide. We've been on this slide a long time. Um, the way this triangle works is this. The ones go down you know, down the triangle. But the other numbers like this, one plus one, that's two. One plus two is three, two plus one is three. One plus three is four, three plus three is six. You see what I'm doing there. Um, one plus four is five, four plus six is 10, six plus four is 10, four plus one is five. So the way you come up with your triangle is you just add the numbers above it to get the next one. And it gives you all your coefficients. That may be the longest we've spent on one slide all year long, but it's a lot of info. Let's try a problem. Okay, this one says expand that to the fifth power. Now, looking back at that triangle, my, my coefficients were this, 1, 5, 10, um, 10, 5, 1. I'm going to go with the patterns I found. Because that's the fifth power, I know there's six terms, which I have here. It's going to start with u to the fifth. One thing I didn't notice last half on the last problem is if you have a minus, and what that's going to do is it's going to make every other term alternate signs. So my second term is going to be minus 5. I'm getting the 5 from right there u to the fourth v plus 10, the u's are going down, u cubed, the v's are coming up, v squared, minus 10, u squared, v cubed, plus 5, u, v to the fourth, and then finally, minus v to the fifth. Now, if you notice everywhere there's an odd v exponent, it's negative because odd exponents keep things negative. That's why they alternate like they do. All right. Another one, now I'm going to show you a different way, and this is this is going to use your calculator. And to be honest, I like this better than even the triangle, and I'm going to kind of show you how we're going to go with this one. Um, first of all, it's fifth power, so I'm going to get six terms. The first term is going to be x squared to the fifth. That's always going to be the first term. The last term, I know for a fact, is going to be this, 2y to the fifth. All right, now one of the patterns I told you earlier was your second term, this one's going to be minus, your second term, the coefficient is always your main exponent. So we're going to get x squared to the fourth and 2y to the first. And what that tells me over here, because things are symmetric, um, I'm going to have a 5 over here with an x squared and a 2y to the fourth. Remember, my odd exponents are going to be the negative, so it's going to be a plus 5. Um, x squared to the first power. I should have put it in parentheses also. Okay, my next one, here's the deal, the new thing. To get my coefficient, I know it's gonna be x squared cubed, and it's gonna be a two y squared. Now to find my coefficient, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use what we did the other day with the uh, NCR button on the calculator. The n is gonna be the main exponent, which is a five. The r is gonna be one of these exponents right here. It's going to be either the three or the two. And to be honest, it doesn't matter which one you pick. As long as you pick one of those, you're you're fine. I'm going to go with the three, I guess. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to punch my calculator and go 5C3. And if I do that, I get 10. Now, I didn't leave enough room right here. I'm going to put a little insert right here. I'm going to insert. I have one more term to go, and that's this term. That's the x squared. Remember, x squared is going down. The 2y is coming up. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. To find the coefficient, I'm gonna do NCR again. And here's the thing about the NCR on this one. Remember, the N is the main exponent, it's the five. The R is either the, let me get my pointer again. The R is either the two or the three. You pick, doesn't matter. You know what, I get the same thing. It's gonna be 10 again. So look at my coefficients. And I should have known this was gonna happen because it was a five. I get a one, five, 10, 10, five, one, which is what we had last time. Now. One thing we haven't seen yet, when you have stuff like this and you got numbers everywhere, they do want you to multiply everything out. So what I'm going to get, when I do this first term right here, that's going to give me x to the 10th. When I do the next term, um, I'm going to do this 2 times that 5, that's 10. I'm going to have x to the 8th and y, and the 8th is, comes from these two. My next term, be careful here, this is 2 squared times 10, two squared is four times 10, which is 40. I'm gonna get x to the sixth and y squared. That's a square. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna come down here now, that's my next term. This is two cubed, which is eight. Multiply that times a 10, eight times 10 is 80. I'm gonna have x to the fourth, y cubed. Almost there, plus, now I'm at this term now. I'm gonna go two to the fourth power, which is 16 times five, which is also 80, x squared, y to the fourth, and my last term, 2y to the fifth power. Remember, the five's on the outside, it goes for everything. So I'm going 2 to the fifth, which is 32, and y to the fifth. And guys, that's your answer. Sometimes it takes you two steps to get there. Um, after this is over, you may even want to stop that, or after the whole video's over, stop it, go back and watch that one again. That's a lot of good info. And we'll, we'll do some of these in class tomorrow. This is just the introduction to get you going a little bit. All right, finding the k plus first term. Um, there's the there's the uh, written out way, you know, to do that. I'm going to show you. It's about the patterns. If you got those patterns earlier, it's not going to be that big a deal to find whatever the k first plus first term is. Let me show you. I'm going to show you two real quick. All right. This says find the fifth term of that one. Okay. Here's what I know. I know I'm going to have two x to some power and negative five y to some power. Now, because I'm looking for the fifth term. One of the patterns I, I mentioned earlier in that slide where I told you all those patterns was the second term, the exponent's one less than the term. So if I'm looking for the fifth term, that means that exponent's going to be four. And if that exponent's four, because that exponent is six, that has to be two because the two exponents, all, it's another pattern, the two exponents always add up to that main exponent. Now, in the front, I do have to find a coefficient. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do the NCR. Remember, N is the main exponent, which is six. Uh, the R, your pick. You pick either the two or the four. It does not matter, you get the same answer regardless of which one you pick. So go six, NCR two, and punch it in. I see, six, five, two. You're gonna get 15 right here. And right when you think you're done, you're really not. You need to multiply all this stuff out. So what I have here is I have, um, this two squared, that's four. I have negative five to the fourth, that's gonna make that positive, and then times 15. So I'm taking my calculator, punching in five, 15 times two squared times uh, negative five to the fourth power. Make sure you put negative five in parentheses when you do that. And I'm getting um, this 37,500, and don't forget your x and y's. So it's gonna be an x squared and a y to the fourth. Now that's not that bad, it's not that much work, but you, it's all about the patterns. You know, math is about patterns at the end of the day. Let's do one more of those, and let's go through those patterns one more time. All right, this one says find the eighth term of this. So again, here's what I know. I know I have a three X to some power, I'm gonna have a negative two to some power. Now, let's go through the patterns. Because I'm looking for the eighth term, the second term is always one less than the term you're looking at. Four. So that's going to be seventh power. Because this exponent is 10 up here, this is going to be third power. And now I need my coefficient that's going to go in the front. So I'm going to go in CR. I'm going to find my coefficient. N is the main exponent, which is 10. R is your pick. You can pick three or seven either way. So I'm going to punch that in. 10 in CR. Um, three or seven. And I get 120. And again, you're almost done. You just gotta multiply everything out. So the, look, you take the coefficient, you take the 120 times three to the third power times uh, negative two, make sure you use parentheses, to the seventh power. And just multiply that together. You're gonna get negative 414720 and then x cubed and that's it, because there's no Y on that one, so you could stop right there. What you may want to do is stop this video, we're at the end anyway, but stop it and punch that in your calculator, make sure you get that, and also just make sure you understand how where those numbers came from. And even if not, I hope this was a good enough introduction to where tomorrow when we come in, we can do a couple, do some examples with you and let you go over those patterns one more time. Um, not a bad video either to kind of go all the way back at the beginning once this is over and write those patterns down to make sure you get them. Because if you got the patterns, you can do this. This is gonna take a practice, a few of them, to really get them down, but we'll get it, no problem, we'll get there. So I'll see you tomorrow, look forward to seeing you, bye.